So the Anastasia one is $42. And this Profusions one is $9.99. <laughs> But good morning and happy May 8th. I'm in LA. So I know I've, ta I've taken a couple days off of vlogging. I've been in kind of like a funk. It's really weird. I'm never in a funk. But yeah, I just, I'm forcing myself today to vlog. Today is an exciting day. It's a fun day. You know why? Because we're gonna... Do you, did you see the gears in my head dirty? <laughs> we're gonna go to a fitting. It's a Mark Jacobs in Disneyland. Yeah, I'm really excited about today because we're gonna take some yellow Disneyland photos because, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if everything goes as planned. Hopefully. Also, yes, I had cheese. its I had a craving yesterday. <laughs> but here's my outfit of the day. Top from Brandy, bottoms from Brandy, urban belt, free people jacket, Adidas shoes. Let's go. I'm actually not late for once. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Night time. Daytime! 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 <laughs> for breakfast, low key. Ever since I did that McDonald's ad, I've been wanting breakfast for McDonald's every single day. Let's get some McDonald's for breakfast! <laughs> Mark Jacobs, thanks. <laughs> First outfit. I get Ariana vibes. I think it'd be cool with heels. Outfit. I really like this sweater. Yeah, awesome. It's cool. It's so cute. So we looked at all of these purses. I really, of course I'm drawn to the yellow one. It has like sunflowers on it. So I think I'm gonna get this one. Thank you. With the dog. I can't believe that they just happened. Oh my God. Look okay, it, they have all of the purses. I feel like I just stole a bunch of stuff. Oh my God. That was so cool. Oh, oh, so Oh my, oh, my ah! oh my god! I did I just got a Marc Jacobs purse and sweater. I'm gonna die! Ah! I wasn't even expecting that! I don't even know what I was expecting. Oh look at that! You Okay, anyways, I'm a little I'm a little bit dead. I'm a little teeny tiny bit dead because that I, I feel like I was I okay sh I feel like I attracted it because, yo, remember? I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter, but I tweeted and I was like, guys, I really want a Gucci belt. And you guys were like, Adeline, stop wasting your money on dumb stuff. Okay, we're back on track. I'm getting a call from Matt. Hey, I'm vlogging. Okay, bye. <laughs> Can you call me in five minutes? Can you call me? Can you call me? I'm driving. Can you call me? Can you call me? Bye. <laughs> Bye. Anyway, so I was like, I really want a Gucci belt. And I just, I've been looking, I've been on Pinterest. I was like searching up designer things, designer outfits, really wanting designer. And it, like, I do this once in a while and I'm like, oh, I really want a designer things. I want to be fashionable. But then I'm like, Adeline, you're saving up for a house. You don't need to do it. And then this happened. I got a purse and a sweater and mini that. Okay, I know it's so dumb. I know it's so dumb. But I just like, I love designer. And ever since I was young, I really have always been into fashion. And, and like I know that some people they really don't get it some people think that designer is so dumb so expensive for no reason But I know all of like the history behind it It's really cool to look into if you have time, you know search up how couture Chanel, you know stuff like that. I'm not just trying to be like good designer So I can be like ah, Gucci gang, <laughs> you know, and I'm just like dying because I oh my god I can't believe they just happened. I got a sweater and a purse. That's so cool. Yo, I know this is so extra This is so dumb but like yo if if you want something you got you gotta manifest it. You gotta manifest it. You gotta look at it every single day. You gotta want it every single day. You gotta work for it every single day. And you can get it one way or another. This was a really weird way that I got my designer feed. My designer craving. But you know what? What if you find a cheap designer item at the thrift store or on Kijiji or, you know, just manifest it, yo. And it doesn't have to be just with designer stuff. It could be like with a baseball jersey. It could be with your dream job, your anything. That was so cool. I can't believe I just got a purse and a sweater from Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna die a little bit. <laughs> Okay, now let's do makeup. It's makeup time, makeup time. Hello, hello. It's kind of dark over here. Makeup is done. 
kind of like it. I did like a cut crease kind of thing. And I used this palette. Yo, doesn't this? I was I wanted to compare this to the Anastasia palette. Does, don't they look so similar? I found this at Target for like $11. And I used that on my eyes. 11 whole dollars is all we're saying. And I also used this Stila glitter, which is amazing. Just like on the, obviously the glittery parts. But yeah! Andre and I, Andre's here by the way, we want to do a yellow Disneyland photo shoot. So, I got my yellow outfit. You have yellow outfits here too. I have my yellow ears. We're going to go to Disneyland. Yeah! No. We made it! Disneyland! Yeah. What we doing, Andre? What we doing? Okay. We're doing a okay. Okay. a yellow shoot. <laughs> I'm Alan's so excited. Cause I'm so mad because you did a yellow shoot with Sierra and it was so good. And it's like, no, this is like, this is why I have trust issues because I, you are my yellow shoot tur. That sounded bad. You're my yellow person. And then you share the yellowness with Sierra. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm out. I'm out. Have you ever seen so many white cars in a row? By the way, Future and you're at 2D. Welcome to Disneyland. Andre! Okay. It's going to be a good photo today. That was a risky time lapse. I was like holding on to it, it was wrapped around this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That just happened. We love a queen, we love a princess. He's a tiny castle. Mm. Hey, Disneyland is so sad under construction. Look at me. Move. Ma. Why is everything great? We decided we wanted to watch Frozen. Andre's never seen it before. It's iconic. The mezzanine, the balcony, or the orchestra? Which one? We chose the top one. Here we go. to take a pizza photo. Copying Jesse Page's Instagram. Totally open. We're gonna get some pizza. We're gonna take a photo right here. Look how cute that is. Also, look at if you want to be healthy, if you want to be LA, I'm gonna get so LA. Salad, salad. Are you kidding me? Oh, pizza. This is amazing. <gasps> they have pasta. Do you guys know from Up, the grape soda? We have this and we're taking photos in front of the Ferris wheel. I think it's super cute. And we're in all yellow. Andre shooting it. Someone ratted on us and they kicked us out because that's the exit. We love creating content, creating content, creating content. I don't know if you watch my videos at all, but if you did, you would know that I love marshmallow. Marshmallow is amazing. I thought this was a cake pop and I had a pleasant surprise. That girl is marshmallow. It's kind of hard. Oh, <laughs> wait, it's not marshmallow. I thought it was marshmallow. It's so good. I'm so embarrassed. What are you doing here? What? Nicole. Guys, this is Nicole. From, she's from Lush and Utah in the Vancouver vlogs. This is me and Pluto. Oh my god. Casual adult. We got corn dogs. This is my favorite. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That was a thrill! A thrill! <laughs> Sorry if I'm looking here. I'm really getting used to looking at the lens. Oh my. <sighs> I wanted to do that like all day. I just, I woke up at 7 in the morning and now it's like midnight and I'm like, well. Oh. But before I end this vlog, we need to talk, okay? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see this eyeshadow? This eyeshadow? Okay, I know it's a little bit smudged with my eyeliner right there. It's a little bit ratchet. Today was a full day, okay? Today wasn't your average day. Today, I, like, we went to a meeting. We were outside. We were at Disneyland. There was, we went to roller coasters. There was, like, blowing in my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, today was a rough, rough day, okay, for makeup. And you know what? It's still intact. So I wanted to talk about, guys, the eyeshadow palette I used today. This is so ratchet. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. There's, like, banana on it. The natural palette versus the soft glam palette. Yo. 
Yo! So the Anastasia one is $42. And this Profusions one is $9.99. This one comes with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Whereas this one comes with 3, 6, 8, 9, 12, 15, 8. 21. I'm just a little bit shook by these, but let's do some comparisons. Okay, obviously the big one. They look, I, when I saw this in Target, I was shook, okay? First of all, I was like, oh, this is a cute palette. I was expecting maybe it's like $25. That's what I was expecting from the drugstore. You know, when drugstore is always getting more expensive, I'm like, might as well shop at Sephora. You know what I'm saying? I saw this. I've never seen this brand before, so I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be expensive, but I looked at it and it looked cute. I was like, mm, reminds me of Anastasia Beverly Hills. It looks exactly like it. Like the font, the brushes, everything, the exact same the pan size even is the pan size bigger the pan size is slightly bigger on this one like teeny tiny bit bigger <laughs> when i saw it was 9.99 and i was like oh, oh my god <laughs> so i obviously had to get it i i told you guys in the morning this is the palette that i use for today and it's still on like today was a rough day like a good school day this this shows this shows like if you have a good a school day an office day a whatever day this is the worst case scenario disney day <laughs> and i use outgoing fearless cozy so i use all the brown tones and I use like um I think I use chatty for my brows I'm just like so shook by this palette I want to do some swatches for you guys and compare these two you're you're not gonna believe this I'm gonna do two that look the same so here are the two swatches I want you to guess which one is Anastasia and which one is profusion from Target take a guess is Anastasia one the top one the bottom one the profusion one the top one or the bottom one so the top one is the profusions I use zing and then the bottom one is Anastasia I use Sienna isn't that crazy okay let me do another one. I want to do like a, a shimmer okay they're not the exact same but we can we can try so here's an example of the shimmers guess which one is Anastasia Anastasia and guess which one is the profusion so the top one is Anastasia and the bottom one is profusion I used glistening that's the top one and then I used excited that's the bottom one Ooh, now I'm gonna do blacks I feel like black is a hard eyeshadow to do and I feel like this will be kind of like where you'll see you can tell the difference between the one palette and the other so here are the two blacks take a wild guess which one's Anastasia which one's profusion so the top one is Anastasia and the bottom one is profusion noir and nightlife but i mean for a drugstore i feel like that's such a good black for a drugstore like ten dollars for 21 eyeshadows like <laughs> i re i mean can you imagine like if this was available back in the bethany moda days 2012 you know what i'm saying everyone would have gone crazy i'm going crazy right now it's 2018 <laughs> i'm just i really love this palette some shades are amazing i just want to just swatch them all but i wouldn't have any room on my hands should i just do it should i, should I just go for it let's watch them all here are the first two rows. Ta-da! Let me do the third. <laughs> I had to take off my jacket for this one. How do I show it? <laughs> I didn't think this out. Here are all of the swatches. Here are the first two rows, and then here's the last row. I didn't even review this brush. There are two really miscellaneous hairs right here. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit, but it's okay. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it again and again till I get it right, you know? But look at the comparison. Oh, I honestly feel like this one is a little bit better. This blending brush is better, but this flat brush is better. But this brush though, rose gold, the packaging. I personally am in love with rose gold. I don't know if you guys watch my videos, but I love rose gold. So like, yo man, why are you buying at Sephora when you could be buying at Target for $9.99? That's all I'm saying. I'm really shook by these swatches. I can't believe that they're $9.99. For all of these, all of these. How much is that? $2.33 per eyeshadow. <laughs> That's insane. I am shook. And I also rip wiped off my eyeliner. Okay, I'm gonna um, take off these swatches before I do something bad. I'm on a white bed. This is why I can't be trusted with white things. Insert clip of me hugging Baymax. <laughs> Satisfying ASMR. Also, I forgot to mention the texture, the texture of the eyeshadows. I always, I know Anastasia has the creamiest, most buttery feeling eyeshadows ever, and that's why I love them so much. And this one has the same buttery feel. It's not the exact same, but still very buttery. The only thing is the Nightlife eyeshadow was a little bit different from the other ones. It was like a kind of bumpy, not so much buttery, but I mean, the black works. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I don't know what else I can say. I don't know how else I can convince you. Look at that shine. Oh, Kira Kira. <laughs> I don't know what else I could say other than girl save your money. I'm so glad that I found this at Target. I know that they had they had like a highlighter kit. They had like they had a bunch of other stuff, but I was mostly drawn to this eyeshadow palette. It looks so much like Anastasia. So if you guys want me to try out like all the other stuff, then girl, I can I can if you want, you know, save your money. Let me do the review and the testing for you. <laughs> if you guys ever want me to do that. I also found at Hot Topic they have a, 
a Star Wars eyeshadow palette. I kind of want to do a review on that. But comparison, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Definitely Adeline Morin in Blue Approved. I'm speaking on behalf of Blue. <laughs> it's so amazing. It's so glamorous. I love. But if there's like an approved, approved section, the Adeline in Blue Approved Approved goes to this Target brand natural eyeshadow palette. I can't believe nobody has done it. I've never seen anyone do a video on this. I feel like everyone, this is gonna be, this is has to be sold out. This, the internet's gonna go crazy over this. Like, I love this palette and it's Adeline and Blue approved. Oh, crap. I love it. Oh my god. Zing, as Cardi B would say. <laughs> Did you guys see that video? And it was like Cardi B, if she, if Cardi B was narrating <laughs> Star Wars sound effects, I don't know. I tweeted down my Twitter. You should follow me at Adeline Moore on Twitter. And while you're at it, you can also follow me on Instagram at Adeline Moore on Instagram. And you know, while you're at it, you can follow me on Snapchat. You know, all this. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel the need to say that this video was not sponsored. I love these companies both. These bo both of these companies. Why can't I speak English? It's the island. It's because it's 101 in the morning. Why do I do this to myself? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're ever at Target and you see this at Target, I mean, you have a couple extra dollars in your pocket. I'm gonna buy some tags. I only got $9.99 in my pocket plus tax. <laughs> I totally recommend picking this up. It's such a good palette. And I mean, it's so fun. There's so many colors. You can, there's so many opportunities. You know what I'm saying? And it, I, it, I feel like it's I don't know if it's just me, but I've never seen this brand before. It's, it could be cool to like try, try out different brands. But yeah, let me know if you have any other makeup, like weird makeup that you want me to try out, then let me know in the comments down below. Definitely that Star Wars one. I know that there's a Stitch makeup palette. And if you want to watch more, I did like a Riverdale eyeshadow palette review. A bunch of weird stuff. We do a lot of weird stuff on this daily vlog channel. Tomorrow, we're going to Universal for Meg's birthday. And we have that Marc Jacobs event. You know how they styled me today? Going to the event tonight. I'm excited. I don't even know what to expect. I don't know what's happening. I'm so excited. I can't believe I get invited to these things. I feel like I'm sometimes <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog today's tip of the day comes from analia she has an amazing photo of a golden retriever as her profile picture oh crap oh crap but, but she sent a couple tips of the day my favorites were every situation in life is temporary so when life is good make sure that you enjoy and receive it fully and when life is not good remember that it will not last forever and better days are on their way another one it says and every day there are 1440 minutes that means we have 1440 daily opportunities to make a positive impact. I hope you guys have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys on my next daily vlog tomorrow. Same place, same time. I love you guys. Bye.